Hello everybody, it's Marty Hoskin, Keller Williams, Greater Omaha. Thank you for joining me. I haven't seen you guys directly like this for a little bit of a while. We've been doing some fun mid-century stuff, things going on in the city and things like that. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm sitting in my car right now doing, we're super busy. Um, you might be wondering, I heard the market is changing and something's happening with the market. The interest rates went up, so the market is crashing. Uh, I, um, I'm testimony that it's not crashing and far from it. Um, we are busy, and actually that's why we're doing this broadcast right now that's very um, ad hoc, brief, uh, and uh, in the middle of things because we are moving from one thing to the other and, and, and servicing our, uh, our clients uh, who are selling their homes and who are buying homes. We are, as I said, we've as busy as we've been at any other time during the year. You might be asking why. Is it just me? Um, in part, yes, because we're really strategic in the way we do things, and so that's really working in this market. Um, but the other part is that actually, um, let me just talk about that part just for a second here. This is These are the stats uh, for the Omaha market now. So on the where the blue the the blue bar is well first of all this is Douglas and Sarpy County stats for houses that didn't sell basically that were canceled or expired um, somebody got fired something didn't work but these are houses that didn't sell from February until now in 2022 notice February the blue bar or no excuse me that's kind of a dark blue almost a purple on the far side that is 99 houses didn't sell um, in February. Then you'll notice just a few months later, by June, that's already tripled. Okay. And that's about the time that, we, if you remember, that's when the interest rates started going up. And then those interest rates have stayed up and fluctuated a little bit. They've gone higher. The orange is the far to the far right or left. I'm not sure how you're seeing this. On the far other far side is the uh, orange bar is 429 houses failed. Sales failed. Did not sell. Um, imagine, look at the difference between February to to, to now that's last that's just a few weeks ago so what we're what we're noticing is this trend is continuing and what does that indicate um, you're probably noticing it around the neighborhoods you're noticing houses are still on the market they're sitting on the market they're not the, they're not cars lined up down the street anymore um, and then we uh, without more information we're coming to that we come to the conclusion that maybe um, uh, the house the, the market is failing that house values are really uh, plummeting and everything like that, but it's not true. I did the statistics, and I don't have a pretty chart anymore for that one, but the statistics are that in uh, most areas of the average Sarpy and Douglas County, the absorption rate, I know it's a kind of technical term, but it's basically, it's like a store, uh, the inventory of a store. It takes only four weeks for all the inventory in the house store, you know, the stores were selling houses. It only takes four weeks for all of the houses to be sold, for the shelves to be empty in only four weeks in Omaha. And in some neighborhoods, it's actually two weeks. I Far from the definition of a seller's market is up to four months of inventory is still good. We only have four weeks of inventory, and in some neighborhoods, only two weeks of inventory. If you'd like me to check your neighborhood, I can. But some neighborhoods are only two weeks. The point is, houses are selling like never before. And like always, like in the last couple of years, they're as good as it's always been. The difference is, and this is why you're seeing this orange bar up there, is <clears throat> that both agents and sellers, for whatever reason, are thinking that we can do things just as we always did, that we don't even have to prepare it. We can overprice it. It'll always sell. No, no. The buyers that are left in the market right now are the ones who are savvy. They're smart. They've got the money for the down payments. They've got the money for the monthly mortgage payments. And so what they're doing then is being very sharp about the, how they buy and checking out how they're going to do it and when they're going to do it and what they're going to like put their money down on. And that means it's got the property's got to be well prepared. And of course, this is something that we've always done, as you know, even in, when things were hotter. Um, but the property has to be really presented well. Staging is a must. Pre-inspections, everything that we always do. We're doing it, and we are we are getting multiple offers still. So our properties are still in multiple. Are they thirty thousand dollars, forty, fifty thousand dollars over asking? No, but they are 
often significantly more, and it's just in the way we do the pro we do the process. If you want to hear more about how to do that right and how you know the strategy we use, I'd love to share it with you. Um, and I'd love to let you know. Let's ask, you know, let me know if you want me to check out the value of your your house right now. What kind of uh, equity do you have right now? Because you might be surprised. But don't judge by the houses sitting on the market um, or not selling quickly. That um, that that's a bad market. Not not at all. Our statistics do not bear that out. So anyway, thank you everybody for joining me. And sorry I gotta run. We've got a lot going on, and I'm getting messages right now. So talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.